Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat, daily epi daily insightful insightful chat. I'll put it that way. Um, this <laughs> this is episode number five hundred thirty-seven. The topic today is take make time for yourself this holiday, and I'll break that down more clearly because it sounds obvious, but there's more to it than that. Uh, before I get to that, let me introduce myself, and we'll get into this. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women attract and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day about this time, I do these talks for almost two years now called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Hearts. And this is episode number 537 because I've done a lot of these. And again, the topic today is make time for yourself this holiday or make time for you this holiday. And I'm saying that from the point of view that we forget. Both, all of us do. Um, now, again, this is America-centric because it's about Thanksgiving, which is this week. If you're another, elsewhere in the world, this may not make sense to you, but take it to heart for Christmas or Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you celebrate this time of year, we may get caught up in the fray and the hecticness of the event. Sometimes we forget to put ourselves first. And I'm going to put out some things I've talked about many times before, but I want to put them in this context because this is one of those times where we tend to forget. And yet this is one of the times where I think it's most important that we don't forget because it's really challenging being on holiday, especially if you are someone, as I mentioned yesterday's broadcast, about going home for the holidays and seeing family members we have charge or issue or challenges with. It's sometimes hard to take care of yourself and stay centered when all the chaos is happening, when there's the grandparents and the grandkids and the neighbors and the relatives and the uncles and the aunts, etc., etc. It can get pretty pretty hectic around there and pretty, and pretty challenging too. So I want to put forward a couple of ideas and suggestions. I may throw in a couple of my offers at the back end just so you know what's coming. No promises. Um, and also about where you can find the other broadcasts. Because by the way, this is Facebook Live first. The thing gets put onto my business page and then onto YouTube and then onto my podcast. And I'll give you those links at the back end. So in case you're watching this on YouTube, it was on Facebook Live first where people may be interacting with me and then I'll be responding. So I'll do my best to repeat any questions put out and then respond to them so you'll know what that was about when I say it here. I think that makes sense. All right. So this is now Tuesday, two days away from Thanksgiving, which is this coming Thursday for those of us living in the United States. I know Canada had theirs last month and where I come from, there isn't Thanksgiving. So I understand the different variations. But Thanksgiving in particular in the United States is an extremely um, evocative time for people who have family issues going on. <laughs> to put it simply, because many, <laughs> many people hate going home for Thanksgiving because of all the stuff that comes up. Now I talked about this yesterday in more detail about the challenges you face when you go home when you're single, when you're supposed to be in a relationship, when you're in a relationship you don't have kids, all these things that your parents and the adults around, the other adults around you are um, presenting you with their opinions and judgments about your own experience. But more than that, yes, even more than that, is remembering when you take yourself home because I'm going to look at this on several le levels. Self-care as a way of life is a game changer for many people. For many people, there is this, um, let's see, it's another way, temptation to go above and beyond at Thanksgiving, to overindulge food wise, to overindulge alcohol wise, to overindulge conversationally even, and forget to take care of ourselves. And it may sound like fun, and yes, it's the holidays, so you have an excuse to overindulge, as it were. But then you spend about a week or two regretting it. And if you said some things you shouldn't have said at that time, you could be regretting it for months to come. So my advice to you is not so much to keep your mouth shut, although there may be some relevance to that in some areas of eating, drinking, and speaking. I'll leave that to you to decide on that. However, there's definitely a distinct, I believe, opportunity to be really self-centric, not self-centered in the sense of ego, but self-centric where you put yourself first in your journey and you're visiting your home, your experience of being at home for Thanksgiving. Part of that is because if you haven't been doing it till now, it's about time you started in your life because frankly, taking care of yourself every day, I would recommend is a mantra you might want to adopt because for many people, they're so busy doing their jobs and taking care of the family and doing other things in life, they forget to take care of number one themselves. And it's not out of a place of ego, as I mentioned, it's about a place of, of ability to function. Because so many people, so many people, 
are running ragged because they're not taking care of themselves first. It's a simple thing. It's such a simple and easy, I would say, thing to put ourselves first. Meaning that saying no is okay. That getting involved but not overextending is okay. That taking care of yourself means that you can actually actually do things that are actually for you, not against you, or for you instead of other people. I'm not going to go that far too down the road too far. But like in the, on the airplanes, on the airplanes, on, on the airlines when you're flying, and there's this announcement in the safety precautions that you put your own oxygen mask on first before you put your child's on. The same thing is true for life in general, and certainly when you're going for Thanksgiving. Make sure you have self-care. Make sure you're more effective to take care of, if you've got kids, your own kids, your family members, your spouse, your partner, other people. But it comes second. Yes, it comes second after taking care of yourself. And this is meant to be a support idea, not an ego like, I'm going to be in charge and I'm taking care of myself and screw anybody else. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm really talking about is take care of yourself so you can function. Take care of yourself so you can interact. Take care of yourself so you can be more loving and have fun when you're there. Isn't that where you want to go? So when things get stressful, and things do get stressful at Thanksgiving quite often, when you start feeling stressed on some level, that's a clue, that's a signpost, that's a signal saying, Hang on a second, I need to go to the bathroom. As in, take yourself out of the out of the room so you can take care of yourself. I mean, the bathroom is one of those safe places where you can be on your own. So you can actually spend some time getting recentered, breathing, meditating, using the facilities if you need to. But to remember to come back to being present. And this is going to sound like simplistic stuff, but trust me, <clears throat> it could be five o'clock on Thursday afternoon where you're going, oh yeah, I remember that now. And you'll be thinking to yourself, I'm glad I heard it. So this is actually simple stuff. I'm giving you these nuts and bolts tools that you can take with you because they're not that complicated. And secondly, they can change your life. And thirdly, can make your Thanksgiving a whole much more, a lot more pleasurable and fun. So again, <coughs> excuse me, take care of yourself first so you can take care of others. I, why it's on my mind right now is because I was just talking with my friend who is still recovering from basically what looked like flu last weekend and she's still recovering. And a lot of my friends I'm talking to are dealing with actually right now in Los Angeles because we're nagging winds blowing the smoke down this way now again. But not the smoke from the fire locally, but from the, from the fire, from the campfire up north. It's starting to hit our weather pans. So now we're getting a lot of particulate in the air, which we can't necessarily smell, but it's affecting a lot of people with allergies, with breathing, a lot of discomforts. So if you're local watching this, be aware that you might be being, almost not necessarily being attacked, but you're being depleted by those challenges. So if you're outside a lot, make time to take care of yourself, drink a lot of water. You may want to make sure you're blowing your nose a lot, clearing your stuff out your system. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving you medical advice, but definitely taking things to take care of yourself. In fact, if you're outside a lot, you may think about getting a face mask during the next couple of days in, this, in LA. And certainly in Northern California, there's a lot of problems up there too with Jerry. extended fires. Jerry. So for me, that's a fine rental piece, you know? Um, Sorry, there's somebody yelling outside. All right. I'm actually going to sign up and get to do other things. I'm going to go out tonight because I'm doing my Facebook Live tonight with, with uh, Gina. That'll be at 6, uh, 7 p.m. tonight. So join me then. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Um, I'll put links in the comments for my programs and also to find me. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. I've got to rush. Bye.